When we first started Bookdash, we imagined a world where every child would own 100 books by the age of five. I'm sure you've all come across that as our founding vision and it's something we still live by and make decisions. Then we imagined a way to create those books and that required talented, dedicated, generous people to pitch up and, and help us to do that. Our book is called The Monster Must Go and it is about a, it's really telling the story of a little girl who gets a new baby in the house uh, that as far as she's concerned is a smelly, noisy, grumpy, sticky monster and she wants it out the house. She tried sending it into space but that just made it angry. And it's really about her kind of trying to acclimatize this new part of her life with this disgusting thing that's now taking up all the space. Well maybe the monster isn't so bad. Oh. For me in my household, I've got three small boys and the reading is such a big deal. You know, we, we're lucky enough to have a full bookshelf and I can see how to have up so many worlds for my children. Something fun. Yeah. 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 And I can't think of anything more important than having a literate nation um, and having literate kids and just not only so that they can work and do boring things that grown ups do, but so they can have fun and just, you know, live a million lives. Monkeys have an especially important job. From sunrise to sunset, they're on the go. Mama monkeys can do it all with a baby clinging to their belly. What do the little ones see from down there? So I've moved around uh, the room. I saw a lot of stories, but it's all South African, but different ways of telling these stories, and different ways of visually narrating these stories. So it's, uh, it's beautiful.